Uh, folks, can everybody hear me okay? Don't normally don't need this. Uh, hi, my name is Brad Dick. I'm the a CEO for the city of Detroit, and but previous to that, I spent the last 17 years in the general services department as the director there, and which GSD is responsibility for recreation and parks, which is, as the mayor knows, my great love is the park system still, so I'm very biased. Um, today we have something really special. About two years ago, um, the Nordine brothers came to us and said they had a donor who wanted to do something special for the city of Detroit. And we talked about a couple of places that we landed here at the um, Riverside Park, which is our, our newest and largest emerging park in the city. And we'll be wrapping up with the new road work this summer. And also the Joe Lewis Greenway, which is the 30 mile greenway around the city of Detroit will also be ending here as well too. So it seemed like a really special place to celebrate um, these two great spots. And there's a number of people to thank. And I, I really wanna thank the mayor, he has rid me on this park for several years now to get it done and we're keeping it up and he's always been there to support us for money for the park and and vision and uh usually on weekends i get a phone call from him what's going on at the park what's this what's that so he's been all all over and he's excited about this too i know um, i also thank the gsd team who designed the park tim carl and his team i thought i saw john here the architect somewhere there's john and tim so you guys great job at all this Another big thank goes to the advisory council. I saw Minnie Ramirez here. Oh, there she is. She moved. Minnie, take a bow. You deserve it. <laughs> so she has been involved since day one from the community advocate, and she's great and really helped lead this team to get where we are today. And then I also want to thank, and we're going to do several thank yous to the Nardine brothers today, Eric and Israel. And finally, thank you to the Adamo family for making this beautiful piece of art possible. Um, I am a huge advocate for art in the parks. I, you know, we've got the parks in great shape now. They were nowhere where they were 10 years ago. They're in great shape. Now it's time to put finishing touches on like art. People need to be able to see something beautiful and different, something to start a conversation and something to inspire. And that's what art does. And I hope everybody appreciates that and thinks about that. Oh, I see our arts and culture directors here, Rochelle Riley. So thanks, Rochelle, for coming today. And with that, I'd like to introduce a Mayor Duggan, please. Mr. Mayor. Uh, well, good morning. There is no place I enjoy visiting in this city more than Riverside Park. I think about the way it looked 10 years ago. This was basically industrial land. Here was a Detroit News warehouse in an industrial site on this side where the beautiful greenery and the hill are. And as you drove up 10 years ago, there was a big uh, sign that said, uh, hazardous soil, do not enter, uh, and a chain across it. Of course, our um, uh, more creative Detroiters went around the chain, went down and fished at the riverfront uh, anyway, because people were drawn to the attraction. Uh, what we've been able to do with partnership with the Maroons, with partnership with the community, is make Riverside Park into one of the most beautiful parks uh, in the city of Detroit. We just opened up that end. Over there, that cold storage building is coming down that's going to beautify uh, the riverfront uh, even more. Uh, and, of course, with Rochelle Riley's influence, we've been adding art uh, to every place uh, that we beautify. And I'm deeply appreciative of Richard Adamo in the Adamo family uh, for commissioning this. And uh, uh, Eric and Israel Nordine uh, have done this beautiful sculpture uh, the path of life, and you want to think about what it means to the city taking materials from Joe Lewis Arena, which will live forever in many of our hearts. I was there uh, that night in 1997 when Darren McCarty scored that goal against the Flyers uh, to win the Stanley Cup. I was there in 2002 when they clinched the Stanley Cup at uh, Joe Lewis against the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, and the continuity of Detroiters' experiences uh, both along the river uh, and with our sports teams, uh, is captured beautifully. Uh, and it was made possible uh, by a family that has had a whole lot to do with this city going uh, from blight to beauty. Uh, at this point, let's please give a big hand to thank Richard Adamo.
Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank the mayor for those very kind words uh, and everyone that was involved in this, uh, making this possible. Uh, Eric and Israel, working with you guys the last couple of years when you first came to me with this idea uh, to utilize artifacts from the Joe Louis Arena to put a piece of art uh, actually at our office on John Arn Seven Mile. And when we were talking about it, I'm like, where are we going to put this, this big thing that you want to build? We're going to put it in the back of our yard where nobody would see it. And uh, Eric said, how about if I got a better idea for you? If I find a park, a place to put it, where it would be seen by many and not just a few. And I was absolutely, gave him the green light. I said, let's do it. Let's, let's figure it out. So here I stand in front of all of you, humbled uh, because of this great piece, this great uh, piece of work. Uh, because I, too, had many, many experiences at the Joe Lewis Arena watching hockey uh, and going to uh, various concerts and other venues. And um, this, means, this means an awful lot to me because, ironically, uh, my, brother, my late brother John and I would go to the Joe Lewis Arena and we would walk through it and we'd say, what do you think about taking this place down? Who would have thought? Who would have thought that we would be part of that history? Um, so, quite frankly, I am moved, I'm touched that we're able to do this so that the entire community that we have been a part of for over, well, for 59 years, uh, it stands tall. It stands tall. Uh, my father, John Adamo Sr., who started the business in 1964, uh, was an avid boater, a member at the Detroit Yacht Club for many years. And I can remember the countless times of going up and down the river, passing by this park, passing by these, these buildings uh, on our way to Lake Erie. And again, here I stand today completely mesmerized that we have a piece that in honor of my father, John Adamo Sr., and my dear brother, John Adamo Jr., will be here for their legacy and a legacy that myself and the team at Adamo continue to do to help with the city of Detroit and continue to be very good stewards to people that are very, very dear to us. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to bring up next, I'm going to bring up um, the Nordine brothers, Eric and Israel, then Liana Medley from the Joe Lewis Greenway, and then finally, before we officially commission the um, sculpture, we're going to have Monsignor Chuck uh, say a blessing, okay? So uh, next, I'd like to bring up the two artists who I've known for several years now. Great guys, a um, lot of fun, um, hardworking, love their city. They're Detroit residents with their wives and kids living here, and they are a, a true part of this community of Detroit. And, um, and I'm so glad we have such talented, uh, I guess, can I still call you young guys? I guess young guys. <laughs> young guys in the city of Detroit doing this. So with that, I'd like to bring Eric and Israel Nordine up, please. So I'd like to say thank you to all of you for being here today. I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's up here that helped make this day possible. Uh, I would like to say thank you to all the people who support us and uh, allow us to live a life of creating art for, for really symbolic uh, and heavy duty reasons. Um, um, the group of sculptures that we have up here is from our Life Tree series. Um, the life tree is a symbol of change in our life. We all have successes and struggles, and people in our lives can change the directions of our lives and how we think. The, they can change who we become. The life tree also symbolizes the growth of a city, the changes and growth that Detroit has been through, and we are changing more every day. The cube is derived from the map of a city. It symbolizes Detroit on its path to a higher place. The glass symbolizes the precious water that we all love so much. The I-beams, we left torn at the top to show the growth that continues to happen in our beautiful city. The walls are life trees as well, if you look at them vertically, and those are to show growth that continues to happen and opening doors and giving within the community to our next generation. Joe Louis Arena was very significant to us. We've been season ticket holders almost our whole life. We integrated the I-beams from Joe Lewis structure and how proud we are 
how proud our father would be when he sees this piece. The Joe Louis Greenway, like our piece on Belle Isle, which is a gateway to the Iron Bell Trail, this piece stands at the beginning of the Joe Louis Greenway as a placemaking for all the amazing trails that we have in our city. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for coming. What a beautiful day and a beautiful park. This place is unbelievable. <clears throat> Israel and I are so proud to be part of this amazing destination and to be part of City of Detroit as residents and people that have lived and worked in the city now for almost 20 years. <clears throat> a lot of our friends moved to other cities. Uh, artists moved to LA and New York and we wanted to stay here and make a big difference here in our city that we love. <clears throat> we start by thanking Mayor Duggan. He is so supportive of public art in the city with the mural initiatives and so many things that we're lucky to have a man like him leading the way and beautifying our parks and our city. <clears throat> Israel and I would like to thank from our hearts the Adamo family for working with us to create something like this art piece for the city. His family has been in the city for three generations working and I can tell you honestly, he is one of the coolest, kindest, most giving people that we've worked with. And from his heart, he just wanted something special from Detroit for his family and generations of everybody's family to be able to come to Detroit and to be able to enjoy and to, 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 to have a message that's positive and something special for everybody. I'm gonna try to work through these thanks quickly, but it takes a ton of people to make this happen. I wanna thank Brad Dick. Israel and I have known Brad for some time, and he's an amazing person. The way he leads uh, his team, and his team is unbelievable as well. Um, and by his team, I mean the city team. <clears throat> so thank you, Brad, for helping us find this location and for making it possible to have an art piece at such a special place. <clears throat> Also want to make a quick thank you to Tim Carl and John DeRyder, who are the two architects that work with us on this piece. Um, they were the ones that kind of masterminded the, uh, the landscape and you know, the park in general, and they're both amazing guys, so thanks, guys. <clears throat> also, a quick thanks to Brad Brarski and his PGA team that did the landscaping, the boulders, and that work with the team. It's funny, but when you're doing a job, you don't, you know, everybody counts, and the smallest details count, and when you have good people and people that care about how things turn out, it really makes a big difference. <clears throat> Most of all, and lastly, I want to thank the community. We've had some wonderful meetings with the community about the meaning of the park, the meaning of living in this area, the meaning of, of Detroit, and what's special to the community. And we tried to weave those essences into this piece so that it would be authentic and uh, connect with the community in a way that feels real and that it's a story about all Detroiters and everybody that lives and works here. <clears throat> the list can go on and on, but we just want to say Thank you again to everybody today for coming. We're having a short, uh, well, this afternoon, an after party at our studio in Midtown, um, which is over in the area of uh, Selden Standard and Wayne State, that area there. So we'd like to invite you all to come. And thank you so much. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Um, you know, Rich, to be called cool by the Nordine brothers is extra cool, right? You know? <laughs> so um, anyway, I'd like to bring up next uh, Liana Medley. She's the um, executive director for the Joe Lewis Greenway. We did a nationwide search and ended up finding someone here in our city of Detroit um, who was perfect fit for it that the whole committee agreed to. Um, myself, Matt Mullen, Alexis Wiley, and Miriam Dola were the hiring committee. We all just fell in love with her. And the one thing about um, Leon is I found out we live a block apart I, we'd never met before, so it was really, really close by. <laughs> so anyway, I'd like to bring up Liana Medley to speak um, on behalf of the Joe Lewis Greenway, and then we'll do the blessing from uh, Monsignor Chuck. Thank you, Brad. So like everyone else, I want to thank Mayor Duggan. Thank Brad and the GSD team, uh, the Adamo family, and the Nordine brothers for this amazing sculpture. Um, as I read the plaque, I really uh, wanted to emphasize something that stood out to me, and I think that really resonates with Detroiters and our journey. It said, step through the door and your journey will begin. And I think that's something that as Detroiters, we can really understand that our journey has begun and for the Joe Louis Greenway and the partnership, we are on this journey with the city to ensure that beautiful parks and beautiful spaces extend from the amazing world-renowned riverfront into the neighborhoods in Detroit. 
And as the Joe Louis Greenway continues to be developed, communities are continuing to engage with our teams. They're, they're coming out and sharing their voices. And the plan is being met and their needs are being served. And so I wanna make sure that you all know that the partnership as a nonprofit is here to serve the community. We're proud to stand as the steward of the Joe Louis Greenway in the neighborhoods. And I'm so excited that our journey into amazing outdoor spaces in the neighborhoods is beginning. Thank you. Well, it's a great privilege to be here for this joyful event. I'm here for two reasons, really. The first is as a friend of the Adamo family for several years, and then providentially, uh, secondly, as a local pastor. Uh, I'm the rector of St. Ian's Basilica, just on the other side of uh, the bridge. Whenever the Adamo family does something significant, they invite God to be part of the situation. So happy to be here uh, with them to do that. O oh God, the fullness of blessing comes down from you. To you our prayers of blessing rise up. In your kindness, shed your blessing upon us as your servants who stand before you, devout and faithful, in front of this piece of art that recognizes the resilience of our beloved city of Detroit. Grant that all the hard work that has gone into this project as a means of creation uh, provide a, an inspiration to all who see it, help them to strive for a better society, and to praise and glorify your holy name always. We ask this in God's name. Amen. Uh, anybody have any questions? All right, enjoy this beautiful park. <laughs>